Hey guys, it is Friday here in West Virginia, so it's time for us to do our Free It Friday video. And I've got something really sweet in store for you. I've been wanting this car since i seen Lamley do a reel on it maybe a month, month and a half ago. And um, it wasn't a long enough video for me to really appreciate all the detail this car has. Then... I tried to find one on eBay. There was only a pre-order, and they were like 25 bucks, and it was coming from China, and I kind of procrastinated about it, and then when I finally was ready to bite the bullet and order one, it was a sold-out pre-order. So I was a little disappointed, and then last week, I started just looking on eBay, and I figured I would type it in to see if anybody else had it, and all of a sudden, a bunch of people had it, and it was here in the States. Pre-order was over. It was ready to ship. And I'm talking about this guy here, the Pop Race Ahakosuka. Ahakosuka is um, one of the nicest detailed pieces I've seen for this kind of money. I paid 15 bucks for, uh, on eBay plus shipping, which was only like five bucks. So I got the car for like 20 bucks plus tax. And anyways, this thing is beautifully done uh it's all metal rubber tires and one thing that lamley did not answer on his reel because he never rolled the tires on the car so i was thinking it was a static model but it's not it rolls beautifully and this one is actually a real car it's modeled after daigo saito's uh drift car his d1 grand prix drift car so well before i get that out of the box let's look at the picture here. art print of the car and it's just your pr64 slash 32 and skyline gtr v8 drift hakosuka and pop race pop race and the end cap here pop race with the name of the car and the part number again same here and then on the back side you have your licensing and warnings choking hazard and all that stuff so this is a company that actually I didn't even really know existed. I thought the Pop Race thing was like a racing culture thing. When I seen it on the Mini GT Pop Race, I never knew they were a diecast company until probably six months ago. Then I really never paid attention to them. I just thought maybe it was some cheap company. But then when I seen this one, I had to buy it. And I'm going to buy more stuff from these guys. This thing is awesome. And the best thing about this car, it combines both worlds. This is my favorite Skyline GTR. I love these cars. And they are small. They're built on the same platform as a 240Z. And this car is powered by a Mopar engine. It's got an 800 horsepower NASCAR spec Dodge V8 in it. And this thing's beautiful. It's got a very heavy metal flake in this orange paint. I guess, in my opinion, the real one to one car is a little bit darker. Uh, like, whatever you want to call it, orange. It's orange, but I'm going to say, looking at the car on the video, is the real car. It's like a candy tangerine or something, which is one of my favorite colors. So, this is very near to it. Um, very well executed with these big flares. And it's true. It's not exaggerated. This is how the real car looks. I think the flares on the rear of the car are measured at like 10 inches. And the fronts are like 6 or 8. Something like that. The camber is like towed in a little bit. I guess that's what you would call it. They're leaning in on the front wheels on the real car. And the diameter of the wheel looks a little bit bigger on the real car. I actually like the die cast better than the real car. Uh, the real car, it looks like an, an Xbox, like PlayStation video game car. Reminds me of the Need for Speed game when they had the auto sculpt where you can make your own body kit and make things really big and flared out and stuff. That's exactly what the real car reminds me of. It's got huge wheels on it. They look like 20s or 22s. They're probably just 18s or 20s because these cars are very small. As I said, it's the same platform as the 240Z. Um, and you can't put a V8 in a 240Z very easily. I used to have a 
240EZ or maybe it was a 280, but it had a small block Chevy in it. I only had it for maybe a month, but yeah, it was a pretty cool little car. Quick, and the motor is pretty much stock, but there's nothing here. It's a little tiny car. <laughs> so let's get back to the detail of this guy. As you can see inside, it's got a full cage in it, painted silver, and you can see the bars everywhere. Very nicely done. The rear deck panel here is... John and I don't know, kind of a rolled pleated. I don't know if it's black leather or if it's like carbon fiber, but you can see it's grooved. They went through the problem of doing all that detail. It does have the dash here, and I know it is right hand drive. I just can't see the steering wheel. It's there. You can kind of see it. And then you have fender mirrors. They are plastic, like M2s. Hako that they made, so be very, very careful. I'm sure that they will break very easily. And then, another thing that is sweet about this car, and you can't really tell because they executed it so elegantly. The way that the panels open on this car, there's no gap, um, like clearance issue. They look perfect. They shut and open perfectly. The deck lid opens. And I'm not sure why they vented the deck lid, but there's a reason behind it. I haven't watched a full video on the real car. And there's some stuff back here I'm going to say it's probably for air ride suspension. It does have like the ducktail style stock, probably uh, GTR wing, red acrylic tail light lenses, and your GTR emblem back there. And some, I guess those would be your backup lights maybe in the rear bumper. Definitely not the exhaust. The exhaust exits on the side. That's what these little aluminum panels are on the rocker panel. And they got the marker lights painted on. They look really good. The skyline emblem on the B pillars. Door handles are detailed. And I'll zoom in a little bit on these wheels. These wheels are awesome. As you can see, the wheels are highly detailed, and you have, I guess it would be like your disc brake rotor behind it. And it is just very well done. The white letter Yokohama Advan, and the red letters on the tires, it like the real one. You even have your little Skyline GTR emblem right here, and your coast sponsor thing with Pandem. This car was made in collaboration with Pandem. Um, I guess it would be like a one-off kit. And then as you can see, it does have acrylic headlight lenses. GTR in the grill. You have your strut bars in the front for the front chin spoiler. Very sweet. The hood opens in the stock fashion. It tilts forward, which I always thought was really cool about these and the 240. Kind of like a Corvette. And under the hood, the real cars like this too. The inner fenders and firewall are painted like a metallic silver metal flake. Very heavy metal flake on the real car. I don't see it on this one, but it may have. I don't know. And it has this induction for the fuel. And it has the spark plugs on top of the heads, kind of like a Hemi. So it's kind of almost like a Mopar Hemi, but it's actually just, uh, I guess... NASCAR spec engine with 800 horsepower, which I thought was really cool. And as you can see, since we're zoomed in, it does have a lot of metal flake in the paint, which is really, really cool. Then flipping it over, it is metal on metal, and the real car runs slicks all the way around, so that is very true. And it is held together with button head Phillips screws, which is really sweet. And you can see the headers are like ceramic coated headers. They come down and you have your exhaust exiting out each side, just like a real NASCAR would. Sometimes they exit on both pipes on one side, sometimes one on each side. Um, don't know why they do that. I think maybe one is for road course, one's for oval, one's for short track and blah, blah, blah. And then you can see it even has a detailed rear end area. And it is very accurate with the independent rear suspension. With like the control arms back here. Just like the real Hako would have. And your spare tire well. So they did very good at the detail on the chassis. And you can see Pop Race made in China, I believe. And it's just one hell of a nice car.
all your window trim is there all the way around so yeah this is a very beautiful <clears throat> car and as i mentioned on my ig post that this is probably going to be one of my favorite 164s in my collection and i just can't uh even say everything about the car and tell you how beautiful it is you just have to buy one while they're still available and put it in your collection if you're a jdm fan gtr fan or just somebody that wants something true to scale that's highly detailed this car is for you they're only as i said 14.95 from the other i can't think of the guy's name i bought it from but you'll find it on ebay and then some people have them upwards of 19.95 but the car is worth every penny of it uh, i know like Hot Wheels charges anywhere from $20 to $35 on their RLC cars that they release throughout the year. And this car with the detail kills anything Hot Wheels has released this year. This car is awesome. That's all I can say. I will be buying more from Pop Race. They have the, uh, I think it's, uh, I can't even pronounce it, Boso Zuko um, C210 coming up. That's going to be around the same price. They do have a uh, special edition one that's out now, but they're like 50 bucks. I'm just going to wait for the regular release because honestly, I like the regular releases like orange and white paint job better than the green and gold that's on the special release. So I'll be buying one of those when they get released. So guys, that's our free at Friday and we'll be back over the weekend to show you something. But um, it is going to be Christmas weekend, the weekend before Christmas. Sunday is Christmas Eve, so I'll go ahead and wish you all a Merry Christmas. Next week, we'll be doing our top 10. I was trying to wait for this car to come because it's definitely going to be in the lineup of top 10. was waiting for my Kaido House R33, but it didn't make it here on time. So we'll do go ahead and do our top 10 next week. Thanks for watching, guys, and Merry Christmas.